Hi again. One of my favorite books in the Bible is called the Book of Proverbs. It's a book about wisdom, knowledge, where to find it, how to get it. One of the key elements of it is actually listening. And listening is very important. It's always important, but I've noticed these days when we're using Zoom video for so many meetings, when you interrupt someone, when you speak over someone, the whole thing kind of shuts down. It just doesn't work well. And so we're actually, I don't know if you've noticed this, but we're in a process right now of learning how to not interrupt each other. And this is very difficult. We really have a hard time. I don't know how many meetings I've been in, and I'm doing it too. It's not like I think only other people do it. Where we interrupt ourselves, we interrupt each other, we speak over each other rather than listen to each other. That's a major sign that we lack wisdom because we need to be able to listen to one another and listen to God speaking to us through one another. Now today is Friday, or when this video goes up, it's going to be Friday, and I'm not going to be working because I believe in taking a break. I believe the Bible when it tells me that I have limits. I believe people who say things like, you can't give what you don't have. I don't believe that it's selfish to take time to rejuvenate, to refresh, to renew ourselves, and the Bible would have us do that. We might be inclined to just go and go and go and never stop working, never stop striving, never stop pushing forward. But the Bible is clear, and I think we all know people who have done this, and it just doesn't work. We need to find a rhythm, a cadence, a texture to our daily lives and the rhythms of our weeks, our months, and our years that's going to work. One of my favorite rhythms is to have a daily Bible reading practice. And I'm huge on this and I tell people all the time about this. So some people watching these, you're doing one to four verses a day using our calendar. And that's wonderful if that's what you're capable of. I do want to try to throw down a little bit of a challenge that even while it's a Sabbath rest, uh, so there's a bit of irony there. That's how pastoring works. Um, I want to have a little challenge here. The book of Proverbs, one of the great things about it is that it is 31 chapters long and they are not very long. And they almost always will have something to chew on. And so my, my suggestion is simply this. For the month of May, if you have time, if you're so inclined, we would listen to the Bible by simply reading one chapter of Proverbs each day. Throughout the month, I will give you my daily reflection on the chapter we're on, the chapter that corresponds with the day of the month that we're on. These aren't going to be super thought out, long planned things. They're going to be like what I'm asking you to do. Sit down, maybe with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, read the one chapter, find one verse that speaks particularly to you that morning. Say, what do I learn from this verse? And why do I believe this verse has struck my heart this morning? Like, what about this verse is something I needed to know today? I have made a practice of reading through the Bible each year. And basically, every single morning, I will highlight or underline one verse in the four or five chapters I'm reading. And I'll meditate on it. I'll think about it. I'll rest on it. And I'll ask, why has God highlighted this verse to me today? This has been one of the most life-giving, spiritually developing practices that I have encountered. It won't work for everybody, but the only way to know if it's going to work for you is to try it. And just because it didn't work at some point in time doesn't mean it won't work now. So even if you tried it in the past, I suggest you give it a go again. So that's the, the question. Can we read one chapter a day of Proverbs together in the month of May? So today's May 1st, so you would sit down and you would simply read the first chapter of Proverbs, which is 33 verses long and has such pithy things as how useless to spread a net where every bird can see it. That sounds right. Anyway, so you can read it for yourselves, and I really suggest that you do, and I believe you will get a lot out of doing so. And if you need to take a rest, that doesn't mean you're weak. That doesn't mean you lack faith. It just means you're human. And if you're willing to admit you need the rest, and you're able to organize your life in such a way as to create spaces for rest, then you're on the right track. At some point, I'll talk a little bit about the ways I go about my week in an effort to create space for rest. But for today, I'll leave it with, it, with you to read Proverbs chapter 1.
Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful May.